So in this video, I'm going to go from this. Oh man, there's no room in here. This thing doesn't even work. Ugh. What is all this in here for? To this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do uh, is take this lid off. There's a little catch right here. Okay, so there's a little string right here, a little uh, little cord. You need to just pop that out right here, and then that'll raise it up, and we'll remove these one, two, three, four screws. Remove the catch, so it's up and out. See, there's a little knot right there. Okay, and next, remove these screws. One. Two, and these are Phillips by the way, three, and number four. Okay, now we just simply get the console lid out of the way. Okay, to get the uh, disc changer out, pull this little rubber mat out down here. That gives us access to these screws. That one. This one. And this one. Sevens are out. There we go. Get that out of the way. There. Okay. There's the other. Hopefully it just looks out. Push the little tab here and unplug it. Boom. Push that back in. And I'm going to put those screws back in just so it'll look better. There we go. Now just put the uh, console lid back on and all should be good. This piece is taken off right here to put a uh, USB slot in. And you can check YouTube for that video. Okay, so we got that on. All right, let's put the lid back on now. Four Phillips screws, boom, 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 boom. Got all this back in, put the cord back in. Put the cord back in. Like so. And by the way, this right here, Put your CDs in there. So yeah, this one still has a CD player, it just doesn't have the multi-disc. So uh, there you go, more room in here. Got the USB back on, boom. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please select like down there and subscribe to my channel. If you didn't like it, well, subscribe to the channel, maybe you like the next one. Thank you for watching.